from under the bridge after a truck passed. When police and other people went on the scene, indeed, the bridge, we were told from what we saw, that the bearing in the bridge got destroyed. And so the joint of the bridge, part of it now is disjointed. And so uh, it posing a serious challenge for commuter between here and even the southeast. And so light vehicles are passing. We informed the Liberian National Police. They sent uh, a team of officers there regulating in the meantime until technical report can come from the Ministry of Public Works what kind of vehicle that should cross. But be as it may put in, I think that bridge is a major bridge and we want to inform plenary so that we invite the Minister of Public Works to tell us what technical advice they can give us so that our basic commercial activities cannot start. Immediately when the bridge had a problem on Saturday, by Sunday, gasoline increased from $750 to $900. I bought six gallons at $900. And so, and so I think if it continues, because right now, not only my campaign, but even the protein campaign, I guarantee that. <laughs> so, so if it continues, that here, you know, it's currently putting some hardship. But what is more, uh, this. I mean, what is more challenging to me, maybe discouraging, is that we, I don't know how come that EPO gave, EPA rather, gave permit to a Chinese company that is mining sand less than two miles away from the bridge. Even though I'm not a technician, I may not say that would be the cost, but I think it's something for all the local. How could we, St. John? River Bridge. So I think they need to, we need to find out whether from a technical perspective, whether it's a mining of sand from that bridge or from the river, the St. John River, or what other who have caused that shock on the bridge. And so as it stand, hundreds of vehicles, a lot of trucks cannot cross, shock with heavy weight. Uh, I've been told not to cross the bridge. So I think the Minister of Public Works need to hasten the assessment to tell us how many um, 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 how many ton maybe you can pass in the meantime. Because if you start trucks from going, you cannot get basic food. You cannot get gasoline and other things into the county as you speak. So I think Public Works need to come and let us know what have they done or what can they do to give us some information or else uh, the situation there is getting worse, police of the Senate. You want the problem? Yeah. Senator Junito Cabot of Grand Bassa County. Thank you. Uh, with the Grand Bassa Bridge so the around the St. John. Is our concern? This bridge um, uh, is very from, important uh, to. Senator Lowry, the other of the as well. uh, spoke to us regarding this matter. She's made some intervention with uh, Asma Mita already. But that's not my point. I think the issue about the St. John Bridge should be taken as an opportunity while we're looking at that St. John Bridge or an emergency. We should take this opportunity for a holistic concern about bridges across this country. I am particularly concerned about the Tucker Bridge, the Gabriel Tucker Bridge. I don't know anything about uh, engineering and all of these uh, technical stuff, but uh, I think when that bridge was built, it was built at the time the population of this country and this county was way below 500,000 and the number of vehicles and the traffic, uh, the, the capacity of that bridge. When you come in to town in the morning, because of the increase in the population, they have developed that three, three lanes on that bridge. 
two coming to town, one going from town. I don't know how technically safe it is, whether that bridge was built with certain capacity to be on it at the same time. And how long it has been that it has ever seen any uh, rehabilitation and stuff. So I think while we taking the St. John's River Bridge issue as a first priority, we should use that opportunity to get the public works uh, people to can give us a holistic understanding um, of the conditions of these bridges. So after St. John River Bridge, another one can have similar issues, then we'll have to come back to it. That's my intervention. Senator Ibrahim Dara Dillon. Of Mr. Serrato County. The interjection. Regarding the issue, the uh, Minister of Public Works and retired team were visiting the southeastern region and, and they returned to the capital, not just for that bridge. They, even the St. Paul, St. John, the Farmington, we're having a lot of challenges with the different bridges in the country. So they are returning to do an assessment and see how fast we can make some, the Ministry of Finance can make some funding available so that we can get our British engineers to come and pay urgent attention to it. They actually have raised the issue. The Bicara Bridge was pretty stable until I think when CPP had a problem, those truck the buses they carried. <laughs> so they trunk a lot of people in there. Uh -huh. so, uh, but it's well okay, we'll make sure we make sure we get that. Senator Evan Mavis Snow of Bobby County. Folks, today, Liberia Television, wherever you are, watching this premium platform. Today, Liberia Television, TLTV. <laughs> Distinguished colleague, and with the presiding and learning terms and your copy for raising the issue. Uh, my, it's nothing so new, I think I'm just concerned about public safety. Uh, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm just concerned about public safety. So while we are with the engineer to do an analysis as to the longevity, the durability of, of the rules, I would think the best thing they need to do first and foremost is to take the public safety measures. Mm -hmm. That one should be done ASAP. Yeah. We do only the way to after action before we take an action. Let's take the action ASAP, regulate, put public safety into place. It should the Minister of Justice, the Deputy Minister of Public uh, Administration and Public Safety, and Minister of Justice, get involved. The Public Safety Division of the Liberal National Public get involved. The Engineering Battalion of the Military get involved. So we just regulate the inflow of traffic until the public can do the analysis. That is fair. You know, our S will lose life. Property can be retrieved. Life cannot be retrieved. Thank you so much, Mr. Presiding. Senator Thank you, Britain. Um, of the issue Lofa related County. to the mapping, I follow it on, on the radio. I listen to the Minister of Public Works. I also listen to the Chief Engineer Steve of Public Sargo. Works. I think this is something that we need to see immediately. Of uh, so I want to move that uh, this matter be referred to the Committee on Public Works. Since the snow has come back from his uh, Air Force duties, I think he should be given one week. Uh, yeah. to, call, to, to, call, to call the Minister of Public Works or team because pro the this issue is not just for Grand Basel County, it's for all of the counties uh, beyond Grand Basel. And I listened to the I listened to the minister talking about there will be some restrictions to work with the police, Jewish people on the kind of trucks, vehicles that will be planned that route. I think we need to bring up the committee needs to bring up to see what what will be the, re the restrictions and then uh, what will be the alternative uh, to the carrying of goods 
uh, supply to the county, so I want to move that uh, this plenary mandate the yes, committee on public works to invite the officials of the Ministry of Public Works to appear uh, within one week's time, and then the committee itself should report to us sometime on uh, next Tuesday. And so, listen to the verbal concerns from Senator Carpe and the brief discussions by senators concerning the Joint River Bridge. I move that uh, this plenary assembly, by mandating this committee on follow works, to invite the Minister of Public Works and her team to appear before them within one week's time so that uh, the committee can explain to, to them uh, what measures are being put in place and that the committee be mandated to report to this plenary next week, Tuesday. I so move. Senator Bebo Brown of Maryland County. Considering the fact that we raise the issue of public safety, I would think you need to have the Minister of Justice and the Public Safety Union of Revolution Police involved into the Center of the Public Safety. No, my, 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 I mean, it's, it will be a good thing, um, but let's read it now as technical issue. By the way, so respectfully, re, re, respectfully, let it, be, let it be left with the committee, not to make it so large. Because we want to prompt. Yeah, full response. Thank you. I'll be ready to vote to my colleagues. Uh, one week next week Tuesday is too short. Uh, most especially the minister and Nadia. The mayor is ready to work. So I will ask that uh, for two weeks. Put up my lap and property. Yeah, so the minister is not yet. No, she was returning. Yeah, returning. They were returning. Listen to Senator Sir Jose was based his already next folks to the Liberia television. While we are on this topic, since we return, there are a lot of reports in Cambodia that are not coming out. You see that uh, the the uh, uh, there are a lot of lot of reports. <laughs> Don't <laughs> <laughs>